Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm trying to make some soup. I'm grounding some beef and I have a pot I'm gonna cook it in. I do not have any uh, broth this time. So instead, I'm gonna use some water. And I'm just gonna trust that I can season this water good enough to make the soup taste good. So here we go, I'm gonna start putting in water. And I'm doing this as my beef is cooking. Let me see what kind of seasonings I got. Seasonings are always good to add. Well, I have some garlic salt with parsley. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna actually sprinkle that on the meat as it cooks. Put some in my soup too. I have some lemon pepper. That's always good in your dinner. There's some there too. And Paprika? Nah, we don't need paprika. Black pepper. Ooh, chili powder. Guys, I have black pepper. I know I put lemon pepper, but a little pepper more isn't going to hurt. It's going to make the soup taste better. There's some more on the meat. Just black pepper. And then I found chili powder. So good in soup, guys. I'm going to put lots of chili powder. Well, as much as I can. It's coming out pretty slow. Put some on my meat, too. I like to season the meat as it goes, as it cooks. And oregano leaves, I'm putting it in there just for the fun of it. I don't know how much that's going to change the taste. But also, I have some vegetables that I'm going to add to the soup. I'm going to make sure I check on my meat here before I put those veggies in the soup that we're going to cook. Usually I would use mixed vegetables, but I'm out of mixed vegetables today, so I'm going to use corn, green beans, tomatoes and some more tomatoes so we're gonna see how this ends up now for those of you who are not used to having vegetables you probably won't like this but you probably need to get yourself used to eating vegetables when you eat a certain way for a certain amount of time your body gets used to it I learned that when I was on my diet if you reduce your calories, it's going to give you a headache in the beginning, but then your body will adjust later. If you choose to eat fruit instead of sugary items, you may not be as satisfied when you start doing that as compared to what you were when you were eating sugary items. But if you keep it up, your body's going to get used to it. And your body is going to like eating fruit more than it's going to like eating the sugary items. Fruit does have natural sugar in it, but that's natural sugar from the earth that your body can handle much better than, oh, all that sugar that they add into the junk food. So your body likes it better because your body, actually, it, your body makes you think that it likes the sugary food better but it destroys your body secretly. So it's like a basically a, a false friend. It's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah. So that's what sugar is. It's a it makes you think that y'all are good friends, but in reality it wants to tear you up, it wants to destroy you, it wants to throw you under the bus. It wants to hurt your body basically. It wants to hurt your life. It wants to take away what you've worked for 
And so fruit doesn't do that as I know that you can overeat fruit and that could be a problem for people with diabetes, but if you're choosing fruit over sugar, I applaud you. And your body will applaud you and you will eventually like fruit better than sugar. So I know a lot of people, they're like, oh, I can't do this because they tried it one time and it, they didn't feel good. But if they would have continued and stayed with it, they would have found that they could have done it. And I do know when I went on my, my diet where I lost a lot of weight, uh, in the beginning I did have a headache that did get so bad that I did have to take, I think I took Tylenol for it. I usually always take either Tylenol or Advil for a headache, but... I think I took Tylenol for this headache. Yeah, I got a headache that bad that I needed to take pain medicine for it. And if it gets that bad, take some pain medicine. It's totally worth the health benefits that you're going to gain in the long run. Okay? So this meat is about, it's pretty well ground. Let's get a close-up of this meat. This is cooked. Brown. If there is some pink that I missed, I don't need to worry because I'm going to stick it in a soup and boil it longer so it's going to get cooked additional time. Okay, so let's do that. Let's put our soup on the fire and scoop our meat into the water. Basically right now it's water with seasonings in it that's going to get heated up and I'm going to put this meat inside of it. And you can't see nothing but the back of my pan right now. So let me turn that so you can see. I'm just basically guiding the meat from the pan into the pot with my spatula. And I have the pan over the pot. And I'm just making sure that the pieces don't fall off on the sides. Uh, I dislike it when cooks will make a big mess on the stove and that's why I'm pretty careful to not make a mess on the stove because it just irritates me when cooks do that. You can be a good cook making yummy food all the time, but if you make a big mess on the stove, I'm going to think that you're annoying. So that's just me and my thing, especially if you cook in my kitchen because I'm always the one that has to clean it up. And maybe that's why nobody cooks in my kitchen anymore because I get annoyed when people make a mess. because when I cook, I try my best not to make a mess. But when other people cook, they make a mess all over the stove, and it just annoys me. I'm going to add more water to this. That was two pounds, and it wasn't the leanest meat, but it was 85% lean, and straight from the butcher. Cow. Beef. And I will accept it with these high prices. And, but I'm going to cook it with something such as these healthy vegetables because it's not the leanest. So that's why I'm choosing to make it with something beneficial. I'm sure it has protein in it that's beneficial, but these vegetables are going to